They might not be comfortable to ride, but time trial bikes are the most beautiful looking. Here we take a look at the top five time trial bikes of the 2015 Tour de France. As current British TT champ and only recently ex-World Hour record holder, Alex Dowsett is no stranger to Canyon's top of the tree Speedmax CF. The bike's undeniable visual appeal is arrived via sleek cable routing and the oddly satisfying straight parallel lines of the top tube to chainstay, seat tube to forks, and the seat stays to down tube. Dowsett's ride is tricked out with Campy's super record EPS, Bora Ultra 80 front, and TT full carbon disc rear. And while GoPro might be stealing the headlines with the new Hero 4 session, Toshiba supplied Movistar riders with the Camellio X Sports cameras to get those much sought after onboard ride shots. For the 2015 Tour de France, MTN Quebec's Steve Cummings and his teammates got a new paint job celebrating the team's African heritage, courtesy of Cervelo designer Tom Briggs. The team's various Cervelo models are emblazoned with three different English translations of the word Quebeca. Move forward, found on the S5, carry on, on the R5, and for this P5, progress. Aside from what is arguably the coolest livery in the pro peloton, the bike itself sports the usual array of lustworthy components. With a transmission of Durace Di2 made into rotor chain rings and power meter via a custom colored KMC chain, the P5 uses Magura RT8 TT brakes. Though officially an Envy sponsor team, Cummings bike had a head disc rear wheel. Rounding off the spec, there's a 3T cockpit, Sella Italia Chrono saddle, and speed play pedals. Look have made sure that you won't miss their sponsor team Breton Sesh with this rather bold new design. Following on from the impressively engineered 795 Aerolite frame set, this 796 TT bike packs in an integrated cockpit, brakes, and crank set with patented internal head tube cable routing. American Classic provides the rim for Dead La Place's ride, and Challenge Record Rubber keeps them rolling. One tech trend we've noticed at the tour is the use of 3D printed parts, and Look have produced a somewhat shabby looking DI2 junction box housing for the top tube. We're guessing that will be refined at some point. It's no secret that Pinarello makes some very smart bikes, and the Bolide probably tops that list in terms of looks. As the only national TT champ on the team at this year's tour, Richie Port gets his own custom Bolide, which, as one of the cleanest TT bikes going, cannot be overlooked. The majority of the spec comes from Shimano and their in-house component brand, Pro, with stages providing power meter recording duties on the short 167.5 millimeter cranks. While there are a number of three-spoke carbon wheels, Pro's version comes reinforced with TechStream technology, which is supposedly stronger, lighter, stiffer, etc. You know the drill. It's also, unsurprisingly, claimed to be the fastest wheel in the world. In unrelated news, Port finished, well, 65th at this tourist time trial. German TT champ and king of the pain face, Tony Martin, had a particularly aggressive looking specialized shiv with a subtle but equally aggressive custom paint job. While many riders use spacers to raise their bars, Martin keeps his FSA cockpit hung low over the Vision Metron front wheel. There were rumors circulating last year that FSA would be releasing a full group set and that Edix Quickstep would be riding that for this year's tour. For whatever reason though, that hasn't happened. But it seems like FSA are slowly taking over the Edix bikes, one component at a time. In the past, Tony Martin has had grip tape on a saddle leading to torn padding on his skin suits but he's now using very sticky tacky tape, which we're assuming shouldn't be so abrasive to padding and skin. 